Meizu is known for producing high-quality smartphones for a low price and the MX6 is one of the best examples. The phone was released back in July and the prices have dropped quite significantly to less than $300 US for the international model that I have. My name is Linus, find out if the Meizu MX6 is worth your attention. In the box you can find all the usual stuff, no extras included. I'm not going to talk about the similarities with the iPhone 7 and I'll just say that the phone sports an excellent build quality. The MX6 is made entirely of metal, the buttons are tactile and the phone sits very comfortably in the hand. I love the 5.5 inches 1080p LCD display which is really sharp and vibrant for everyday use. A 5 megapixels camera is here for selfies along with the LED notification light. I like the multifunctional home key, it takes you home if you physically press it and it takes you back if you just tap it. The button also doubles as a fingerprint scanner, which is fast and accurate but the whole process is a bit slower since you need to wake the phone up first. On the back we have a 12 megapixel Sony camera with f2.0 aperture and a dual tone dual LED flash. I love the sound quality from the loudspeaker as the sound is quite balanced and the volume output is decent. The sound quality via the headset jack is pretty good too. When it comes to hardware, my review unit comes with a MediaTek Helio X20 chip, 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage which is however not expandable. The gaming performance is good yet not great. You should expect a few skipped frames and even a little bit of stutter if you play games like Asphalt 8 on the highest graphics. Other games like Nova 3 work absolutely fine and the graphics look nice. The device gets just a little warm but there is nothing to be worried about. I have always loved the Flyme OS because of the way it looks and feels. The Android 6.0 base user interface is fast, there is no stutter or lag no matter what you do with it. Also, there are some cool features like gesture and motion controls that work absolutely fine. You can also customize the phone by changing themes, wallpapers and so on. Finally, my international review unit comes with most of the languages, Google Play pre-installed and there is no Chinese bloatware. When it comes to the camera app, I love that it can take the pictures very fast. Also there are some modes like a manual mode that allows you to adjust some settings. Speaking of the settings, the menu and the mode windows can be only seen in the portrait mode which sometimes can be really annoying. I took all the pictures during the cloudy day meaning that the lighting conditions were far from perfect. Still, the camera can take some nice and sharp looking pictures with a decent amount of detail and pretty accurate but somewhat colder looking colors. Some of the scenes were clearly underexposed and the HDR mode brings the detail back to the shadow but it makes the entire picture look oversaturated and unnatural. The low light photos look kind of good for a $300 phone but they are far from perfect. I would love to see less noise and a little bit more detail even in this category of phones. The selfies look pretty nice and sharp and I don't have many complaints about the image quality. I'm shooting in 1080p with the Meizu MX6. When it comes to video, I don't really understand why Meizu thinks that using that H.265 video format for 4K video is great. Sure, it has benefits of smaller file size but it's not compatible with neither YouTube nor the majority of video players. The 1080p video quality is kind of average. I would love to see more detail and sharpness in the footage. As usual, I will leave all the download links to original camera samples in the video description down below. When it comes to connectivity, I have no complaints at all. The call quality and signal reception are good with either SIM card, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS work absolutely fine. 
the Meizu MX-6 comes with a 3060 mAh battery and a fast charger that can fully charge the phone in 1 hour and 15 minutes. The battery life is good. I could get about one and a half days of a mixed use with two SIM cards, four Google accounts, using lots of apps and so on. The Meizu MX-6 is a phone that I really enjoyed using for the last 10 days. I absolutely love the design and build quality and the fact that the phone is just nice to hold in the hand. Also, the display is sharp and vibrant, the Flyme OS looks sleek and it runs fast, and the battery life is pretty good. While the camera can take some sharp photos in daylight, the quality decreases quite a lot in lower lit situations. In addition, the choice of 4K video format is kind of disappointing since the video cannot be shared on YouTube right away. Finally, the phone lacks the microSD card slot, which is a bummer considering the fact that I only have a 32GB model. All in all, there may be some other options at this price range, but I still believe that the Meizu MX-6 is a pretty solid phone for the price, but we have to consider the shortcomings before making the purchase. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please follow TechLineHD on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you in the next video soon.